welcome back to this discussion of the Citizen Tsukiyomi AT watch, the red moon dial version with model BY1018-55X with the H874 movement, and you can look up the H874 version of the manual if you need additional instructions, including manually setting the time, things like that. In the first video, we went through some of the basic features of the watch um, and talked about uh, checking the power level and whether the radio signal of, of time was, was properly received uh, during its last attempt. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show how to change a couple of the key settings on the watch. One of them is, of course, the time zone. And that's one of the things that you'll need to set when you first get the watch. Um, so if you pull the crown out to um, position one, then a couple things happen. One is that the second hand immediately uh, points to a place near the top of the dial, um, indicating the relationship to uh, mean time. And in the case of the Eastern time zone of the United States, where I live, that is at minus five. So that position is at 55 seconds. And you can see around the inside of the bezel there, um, markings from you know, minus 10 at 50, you know, to minus 5 at 55, 0 at 12 o'clock, you know. So, and if I wanted to change that, I would just have to uh, rotate the crown. And uh, I, I would recommend doing that slowly. Just let the watch adjust because each time that you move it one second, or in this case, you know, representing, uh, one hour forward or one time zone change, uh, it rotates the hands accordingly. So I would just say to, you know, let it progress through each one uh, before you move it more. I don't need to change it from how it's currently set here. I'm going to leave it at 55 seconds, which again represents minus five, so five hours behind Greenwich Mean Time and that's proper for my time zone. So if I get to you know, the, the point that I'm happy with, and again, you, you just rotate the crown to change that, then you would just push the crown back in to position zero, and then it resumes standard timekeeping. But I'm actually going to um, pull the crown out again and make another adjustment. Uh, before I do that, I wanna mention that when you start messing around with the settings by pulling the crown out and, and turning anything, then if you subsequently check the success or failure of the most recent radio time signal, it will say, no, it didn't work. Just because you have more recently um, you know, pulled out the crown and potentially made changes. So you would have to receive another signal for it to say, okay. Now that doesn't mean that the time is, is suddenly wrong or anything like that. It might still be perfect, but it's just that basically it, um, you know, resets its status as far as whether it has received a, a time signal and you would need to get another one for it to say, okay. All right, so if I go back to position one, which is just pulling the crown out once gently, um, another thing that it indicates in this position is which hemisphere, southern or northern, we're in, and that just affects the display of the moon. So I'm in the northern hemisphere, so I, I want to leave that. But if I were to uh, tap what they refer to as the B button once, then not only will it change from pointing to north to instead south, but also, uh, and this will be kind of a subtle change because most of the moon is hidden, the moon will move over to the right side of that subdial at the bottom. So 
So you can see that now the moon is over here and um, it indicates that we're in the southern hemisphere, but I'm going to switch back to the north. And now the moon is back on the left side and it's pointing to the north. So in the northern hemisphere, as you uh, progress from a new moon to a full moon um, and then wane again to a, a new moon, it moves from left, you know, through the top middle of, of the subdial over to the right. Um, and it goes the opposite way from right to left uh, through the lunar calendar if you're in the southern hemisphere. So that's all as far as the first crown position. And again, if you just press it back in to position zero, then it resumes standard timekeeping. But if we go out to the second crown position, so two clicks, now what we have is the second hand indicating the status of um, daylight savings time. And there are two different parts of the dial it can point to. If it points to this area on the left, then it means that it's in standard time. And it's just a question of whether it's in um, automatic or manual mode. If it's in automatic mode, then it detects, you know, whether it should be standard or, or savings time and makes that change on its own. If it's manual, then you have to make the change when the appropriate date is reached. So, as it's currently indicating, I am in standard time and it's set to automatically update. And that's exactly the way that I want it. But I could change it to manual updating if I held in this bottom button, the A button, for a couple seconds. So now it's on standard and manual. But I'm going to switch that back to automatic because I want it to go ahead and make that change on its own. If it were pointing over on the right side of the dial, that would indicate that it was in uh, savings time. And again, you can switch between automatic and manual on there. So again, it's correct for it to be in standard time right now. And I also want to leave it as automatic. So I'm, I'm good with the current settings and therefore I will go ahead and put the crown back into position zero and resume standard timekeeping. And of course, you know, it shows the date at the top and everything else is as it should be. So I uh, hope that these videos were helpful to you. And if you have any other questions or want me to cover anything else, you know, I'm certainly willing to make a, a video about uh, the you know, manual time setting or, or things like that if, if needed or, or any other features of the watch or answer any other questions you might have. So uh, please, you know, leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you're so inclined. Uh, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.